Welcome back to Scooter Gang, everybody. Today we've got a special project. We're going to be talking about this Spin Tend U Box V2. As you can see, I've decided I'm going to put it in the Yumi Y10. I've taken apart part of the Yumi, got the battery out, and taking a look at all the wire connections and seeing what I'm going to have to do to install this awesome controller. Basically, this controller is going to give you more acceleration and more power from your battery using a different type of math that is more efficient. So let's take a look at first the most basic plugs. This XT90, that's for our battery. We're going to have to likely swap out a battery plug depending on what scooter you are modding. My Yumi has an XT60 on it. So we will be soldering on an XT90. These are just a bit beefier connectors. They're rated at 90 amps as opposed to the 60 amp XT60. Our battery is rated for 50 amp output, which is decent, and I'm probably not going to push near that with this controller. I'll be keeping the settings more on the safe side. These are the three phase wires. Go to each motor, and they have four millimeter bullet connectors. So most of you are going to not have those on your scooter motors in this yumi it does come with four millimeter bullet connectors that were crimped and you could potentially use these but i don't know if what the rating is on them and i don't necessarily want to use them you may have these rings and a terminal box in your scooter depending on the model these do fit as you can see but like I said, I'm not sure about the rating and how many amps they can handle. So we're going to be swapping those out to a matching 4mm gold bullet connector. Here's the gold bullet connector I'll be using. You can find these in the XT90s on Amazon. They're pretty cheap and available. So I will be soldering on these connections. Um, as you can see already, this is a mod that is not for the faint of heart. If you guys don't want to learn about electronics or don't already know your way around some electronics, I would think twice about doing this. It will take soldering. It will take uh, half a brain, right? This is not just plug it in and go. But I think it's going to be worth it with all this work. Obviously, or I wouldn't be doing it. I think the performance is enhanced, and I think it's, it'll make it a lot more fun scooter. Let's see what else was in the package. We have a power cord, a little button we can install. That plugs right in, so I might as well just plug it in now. There's a whole lot of other connectors and a couple different components. I'm not entirely sure what these are yet. I am learning as I'm going here, so bear with me, please. Plenty of different wire connectors. You can obviously see where these, where these are going to plug in on the controller, on the face of it there. And they're going to end up going to different components on the scooter. Plenty of different wires, plenty of attachments. I think you can pretty much hook up anything you want to this controller as far as 5 volt or 12 volt accessories. That could be anything from LED lights to horn to your headlights, uh, basically anything electronic. So now we have all the parts. I'm going to solder up the easy things and then I'm probably going to ask Spinend again about the throttle wires and stuff like that. They've been very responsive. But I'm going to have to figure out how to unroute these from the pole. Maybe just leave them exposed afterwards for my sake. And all of these wires up here are different components that some of them I may keep. Obviously, stuff like brakes I need to keep. But other stuff I may not. I may do away with, you know, the headlights just for the sake of making this a bit easier mod and not having so many different circuits. Spin 10 did tell me that the stock throttle should work so I'm crossing my fingers and I'm going to try it with that first but I may end up having to buy a separate throttle that's better. Once I get it all hooked up we will be using the open source VESC tool and with the VESC tool we will be programming and tuning the controller for the Yumi. 
So if you're interested in FOC mods for your scooter, go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned because this is going to be a fun one. Scooter Gang out.